What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And what you see here is a Roma 20 cup multi cooker. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right. I got this on HSN guys. I don't think they sell this model um, on Amazon as yet. But we're going to unbox it today and just look at it. And we'll cook a little something in it real quick. I got to shout out my Kitchen Gadgets group because a lot of us in my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook went out and bought this and it caught my attention so I had to pick it up myself. Besides, this is going to replace a lot. I'm going to go I'm I'm going to go to Goodwill Saturday and I'm going to be giving away several gadgets that um, I'm no longer using and I don't feel that I'm ever going to use again. Um, but that's another story. I'll do a video on that too. But let's check out inside. All right. So that's typical, right? So this is the inner pot. It has markings outside and inside. This is some type of multi, I mean, some type of nonstick. I don't know what it is. It's not ceramic, but oh well. Hopefully it will, um, it will last. We'll, t we'll, we'll see. And that's, this is going to replace my Digital Perfect Cooker um, and some other gadgets. Because of the pot, uh, my Digital Perfect Cooker is uh, no longer, um, they no, no longer sell it. So I can't get a replacement in a pot or I can't buy another one. So this is, like I said, this is going to replace a whole bunch of things. All right, so this is the inner pot. It's a non-stick. I do love the see-through. It does get your fingerprint in there, but that's okay. Um, I do I do love the see-through top, and I guess this is where steam comes out, which is cool. Does come with this steamer basket for your veggies or whatever. I do like these handles; makes it easy to pick up. It's very light too, guys. I like that. Has one on each side. This is the back of it. That's your, I guess, condensation cup. It already came installed. Cool. What your plug looks like. Average length. All right, I'm kind of tilting it up so you could see it. So let me go ahead and turn it on. So it does when it turns on. All right, so let's go over the features here. You got rice grains, oatmeal, slow cook. Now what's dope about the slow cook, I was going over the manual. Slow cook has low, medium, and high. So that's pretty awesome. Steam, saute, and simmer, which we're going to try today. This has a feature where when you saute, right, and when you add liquid in it, it automatically goes into a simmer mode, which is pretty awesome. We're going to check that out. Cake, soup yogurt now I definitely gonna make some yogurt with this um, one of the uh, one of the items that I'm going to replace is my um, I guess my cook's companion wonder pot or whatever you call it the instructions didn't give good details about how to do yogurt so that's gotta go so this will replace that. And I'll show you at the end of this video what exactly I'm going to replace them. Don't ask too much about those because I'm replacing them, so I don't care to talk about them. Um, so you got uh, delay timer, start, and keep warm. So yeah. Well, guys, we're just going to hop in. That was my unboxing. <laughs> So it's on, so I'm going to hit saute and simmer and hit start. Give it about three minutes to heat up. Fresh out of all these guys. Just picked up some mushrooms. So we're going to saute some mushrooms first. Check out how that um, saute goes. Um, if it gives it that sizzle, we'll test it out. And guys, before I forget, um, mainly I'll be making rice in this. I'll be doing rice and some small slow cooking. Um, and this may even stay on my counter if it works. If it works, good. I, I have 
I may have space on the left side of my counter that I can just keep it. I like to keep gadgets like this on my counter because it does so many things. And, um, yeah. Especially like soup and stuff. I know I could do it on my pressure cooker, but I, I like to use different gadgets for different things. Now, usually with these machines, it's first use. You're going to see some, smell some smoke or see some smoke, which I'm seeing and smelling now. Um, that happens with some gadgets from time to time when you get them new. Um, and usually when you use it, you know, your third and fourth time, that no longer happens. And yes, I made sure that there was no uh, cardboard on the bottom of it or any stickers. <laughs> But good catch, guys. I know some of y'all are like, well, make sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Three minutes have passed. I'm going to hit it with some um, olive oil for my Evo oil sprayer. If you want one, the link will be in the description. I'm just going to go ahead and put my mushrooms in. All right. Here, a little sizzle. Uh, put a little bit more. Yeah, that should be enough. Alright. I'm even going to close the lid, y'all. And it does this while it's going. Man, I'm already loving this lid, man. That's so cool. Flip them. They just sliding everywhere. Woo! Okay. Come on. You can do it, bro. Okay. Which one should I use? Garlic bouillon? chicken. I think I'm going to go with chicken. Well, guess what, guys? I put both in there. And this is like one cup of water. Supposed to go in simmer mode now. Somehow. Alright, that's blinking. I know y'all like, what is he gonna do? Gonna add some cumin, y'all? Ladies, walk with me. Alright. And finally, I'm gonna add some of this. Link will be in the description too. I'll go ahead and close the lid. And while that's going, I'm gonna put a cup of this in there. I mean when oh, in a couple minutes. I'm gonna put one cup of Uncle Ben's rice in there. Alright guys, so after about three, four minutes, this is what you get guys. I like that. Cool beans. So I'm going to go ahead, I just wanted to show you that. That's cool. I just turned it off. You just hit start to turn it off and it's just ready for your next command. Now what's dope about this is like you can make a great, awesome gravy this way. Oh. Can't wait to try that. So anyway, I'm going to dump my rice in. I'm going to give it a mix. Mix around. And then I'm going to hit the rice button and walk away. And when I come back, I should have some rice and mushroom with some awesome flavor. I should. Now, I'm poking my chest out because all the examples um, in the... Uh, the booklet, the manual, 
um, starts off with two cups. I'm only using one cup because it's only me. I don't need two cups. So I'm hoping this one to one ratio will work out just fine. So we're going to try it on camera. So let me close the lid. And can you see it? I don't know if you can, but if rice button is the first button, so I'm just going to hit it and see what happens. All right, it's blinking. Okay. I'll be back. Oh, and guys, you can open the lid. Um, but remember, you're letting some of the steam out if you do that while you're making the rice and stuff. So you can, it may prolong the process of it cooking because some of this, you know, steam is going out. But you can, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing that says you can't do it. You can open this as much as you want while making rice. And other things, slow cooking or whatever. I Look at the steam coming out, y'all. All right, guys, let's touch the sides. All right, definitely not cool to the touch. It's about a notch hotter than warm, but not like ouch hot or anything like that. Like I can, I can walk with this if it had a long extension cord for 10 minutes, it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Now, if you touch the top, this part, this part is hot, but the sides, nope, it's fine. But that's to be expected. Just wanted to show you that. Aha, uh -huh. okay. So you see that 10? So I did read in the manual earlier, when you're making rice at the 10 minute mark, when it feels it's 10 minutes left, it will start a counter down for 10 minutes, which is cool, I like that. Some rice cookers don't have any timer at all. It just goes to keep warm and you just hopefully hear the beep or whatever. So at least this has some form of time um, at the 10 minute mark, so that's cool. All right, time's done. It did make a beep. Um, beep like five times so it does make a sound which is cool all right let's open up and see what we got I like that as I lifted it up all the water drained down there and I'm assuming to the condensation cup I like that look at my rice y'all look at my rice perfect That is perfect. Nothing sticking. Cool. So as you can see to the bottom left, it goes into a keep warm as the time runs out. So that's cool. And it's counting up um, how long it's been on keep warm. So the numbers will go up in minutes. Let me take a quick picture so I can show my kitchen gadgets group with my Samsung S10 Plus. Shout out to my Samsung owners out there. I know a lot of Apple heads out there. No rotten apples here. And shout out to all my vegan subscribers that watch my channel. Even though you don't eat meat, you still watch my channel. This one's for you guys, because I'm not gonna have no meat with my dinner tonight. Oh, I wanna see, you. I wanted to show you how easy this just falls right off the rice. And I'm using silicone utensils. I'll have a link in the description. It's a 10-piece set. And right now it's on sale for $17. It usually goes for $28. Um, yeah, I have a, um, a promo code, Cook with Doug. So that'll be in the description too. See how easy that came out, y'all? Boom, baby. Boom. Alright, guys. If you want to know how easy this um, inner pot is to clean... It was a cinch to clean, no rice stuck to it. Um, you know, the only oil I put in is what I sauteed the mushrooms with. So put a lot of oil in there, but 
it was just smooth sailing, easy to clean out. Yep. Of course Doug's going to go into overtime. We're going to steam this in the steam basket, baby. By the way, it did come with these items. Measuring cup, I never use. This little thing, I don't trust these things. I like to use silicone utensils. It just just eases my mind these days to use it. But I, I'll put this aside. I'll keep this, but it's measuring cups out of here. All right, the manual says to use the measuring cup and use two cups. I don't even know what that is, so <laughs> I'm just going to use one cup of water with a regular measuring cup. Sorry. It's pretty frozen, huh? All right, I had to break that up. Put my little medley mix in there. Same thing. Link will be in the description to this. This is good stuff. And the dope thing is Amazon usually has it cheaper than what Walmart has it for. All right, let's put it in. I'll go ahead and drop the top. And by the way, if I didn't show you, this little thing here is what you do to open it. All right, turn it on. I'm going to hit steam. Oh, so I said, all right, well, I'm going to increase the time to 15 minutes. And I'm going to hit, no, I guess I don't do anything. Let's see what happens. I believe if I hit start, it'll turn it off. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So we'll see how it goes. So according to the manual, um, it will stay at 15 until the water comes to a steam, a boil or a steam, whatever, and then it'll start counting down. So it won't start counting down right away according to the manual, but we'll, we'll see that. About 45 seconds that went by and I can hear it working. Cool. Okay, five minutes have passed, or I'd say at least four minutes have passed. And it's still stuck at 15, which is good. So it's not going to start until it reaches whatever it needs to reach for steaming. So good, good. Yep, it did a beep. It, it did it right after I stopped recording. So it beeped about like three or four times. So that's good. You'll know. So now it'll start counting down, which is good. And I don't know if you can hear it. You can hear the, bo the water boiling um, on the bottom. So that's good. And um, also the manual, I'll show you that at the end. The manual has charts, um, so that helps. All right. Not bad. Take one. Ooh, hot. Oh, yeah. Good. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and plate this up and have a bite. I'm hungry. Shout out to AJ one time. This is the only candy he eats, and it's a, a bubble gum. It's called Double Bubble. I'm sure you guys know it. But this is the only type of sweets he eats. No ice cream, no cookies, no nothing. <laughs> but anyway... Shout out to my kitchen gadgets group again one time. And guys, I would go ahead and put at least with a regular measuring cup. Put put a cup and a half to two put two cups of water just to be safe. Because one cup is was barely not enough. So put put two cups with a regular measuring cup. Alright guys, it's time to eat. And by the way, I did add some ginger sauce for some extra kick. I love ginger, by the way, if you didn't know. All right, so let's have a bite. should be packed with flavor. You first. You got it? Okay. Oh, that's good. That ginger sauce put it over the top. 
I'm about to slap somebody. Thank God AJ's not here. I'm about to slap somebody. This is good. Can make this with some some beef, beef cubes or something. Have some veggies with me. Got it? Mm-hmm. Very, very good. Very, very good. I have one more bite. I'm gonna wrap this up. Oh. That's all right. We got it. Got it? Okay. Mm, too good. All right, guys. So this is the um, manual it comes with. Not a whole lot of pages, but it does break down um, each function. So I like that. And believe it or not, we have some recipes in the back. Jambalaya. Let's check that out. Green chili. Oh yeah, dips. Oh yeah, cool. Alright, so what's the verdict? Well, first of all, it's Kitchen Gadgets Approved. Uh, my kitchen gadgets group on Facebook approved, so it's automatically a go. But what I like about it is a, it has the see-through lid, and it's easy to take it. Um, it's easy to open it up and close it. It's easy to see through because it has the see-through glass. Um, like I love that. Um, what else do I like? I like uh, it does make the beep noises. The inner pot seems to be very good, uh, non-stick like that um, what else do I like it can do yogurt I do like that I like the saute and simmer feature I love that I love the slow cook that it has different um, modes let's see if I can go into that see that low medium oh high medium and then you got your plus and minus to go up and down whatever I like that so it does have that slow cook feature. It has the cake feature, which is pretty much in the instructions. It just says, you know, follow the, you know, follow what it says in the back of the box, and uh, put some uh, nonstick spray on the uh, inner pot and go for it. Just follow the directions. So that's pretty straightforward. And hit the cake button. So I definitely want to try that. Well, the yogurt, the cake. It's got the soup button. What's that about? Let's see. Soup. Too much. Oh, you can play around with that. Okay. Oh, it does have the delay timer. I like that. Um, we're going to definitely try some oatmeal on there. But overall, if you're looking for a rice cooker, this is pretty good. Oh, and the price. What is the price? Hold on. Let me look at what I paid for it. Again, I got it on HSN. I put it on my HSN card, guys. So I got it on Six Flex Pay. So... <laughs> But I, I believe I paid like forty nine, not thirty nine ninety nine or forty nine. I think I paid fifty dollars in total with tax, fifty two dollars. So this is not very expensive, but I think it's pretty awesome. So Doug, cooking with Doug says it's a go. You'll be seeing me doing some videos with this with different things. So if you're looking for a rice cooker, a quality one, a nowadays one, here it is. Sure, you can make rice in your pressure cooker. But as you see here, it was a one-to-one -one ratio, and it was no thinking. One cup of rice or two cups of rice, one cup of water or two cups of water, depending on how much rice you put in, and you hit rice, and you wait, and be done. That's how I like it. So anyway, I'll try and put the HSN link, but I did get this um, on HSN. Amazon does not sell it as yet. But that's all I got, guys. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's cooking with Doug. I did sh I did promise I was going to show you what I'm getting rid of, so this is overtime, guys. So this is my Digital Perfect Cooker. I love this machine. This is a rice cooker. It does up to two cups, but look at my inner pot. Look at that. It's got to go. I just can't. I can't rock like that. What a shame. They didn't... They discontinued it, they didn't improve on it, didn't do anything. And something from up here has got to go. No, no, oh yeah. That right there, that's a rice cooker. That's gone. I think that's by Electric Homes. That's gone. 
and this is I bought this on a vine and I don't rock with a vine no more so that's off that's definitely got to go off gate but this is a cook's companion I think this was the follow up to the wonder pot instructions was trash um, so that's that's going to goodwill but I'll tell you a little more about all of that what I'm giving away to goodwill on the weekend just wanted to show you that shout out to my subscribers and that's it.